Today, I'm going to show you a pretty cool new feature of Next.js 15. So here in their docs, they mentioned that in their form component, they now give the ability to have client side navigation here. And they kind of mention here, it is useful for forms that navigate to a new page, such as search form that leads to a results page. And then here you can see them using the form component as an example. So let's actually look at a running application that I created here, very much so based on the example in the Next.js docs. But here, when a user types in a user ID, we're gonna click view posts, and then it's automatically gonna navigate us to a page that contains that user's posts. And I just moved my screen down a little bit so you can see the URL and what's going on here. So if I type in user ID number one here and I click view posts, what you're gonna see is that loads for a second and then it takes us to forward slash search with a query parameter of user ID is equal to one and then we see the posts for this user. If I go back to search, we can do user ID two, view posts, loads for a second, that request resolves, and then we see the results for user ID 2. So pretty cool. This is all server side here to where Next.js now gives us this feature out of the box to where forms can automatically navigate to a new page. And in a case like this, that is really nice. And everything we're, that we're doing here is still server side. So what does my code actually look like here? Well, on the submit page, what we have is we have the Next.js form component that I'm importing from next forward slash form. And as you can see, there's no use client here. So this is a server component. We just have our input to where we take the user ID and then we have a button of type submit to view our posts. But kind of the key here is that we set the action of the form to forward slash search, which is effectively take, telling Next.js when a user clicks on this post, send them to forward slash search. We have this input with a name of user ID. So if we look at here, our search param is going to be user ID equals two. If we switched the name of this input, it's going to switch the query parameter here. So if I just change this to maybe user, well, then we have to change this where we're viewing our posts. So if we go to our search page function, and this is where we get our results and iterate over our posts, you can see that we use the search params here in our search page. And our search page is at forward slash search in our navigation here. So you can see forward slash search with our page.jsx because in our form, we set our action to forward slash search. So it's saying navigate to the forward slash search page. And then in the query parameters, use the parameter user with whatever value that this input holds. So in our search page, we accept our params here, but now there is a very important key here. And I need to switch this to user now, since we kind of changed from user ID to user, but this is a very key important detail. And I'll go ahead and do that. Right now, this is actually going to be called a user, but I can keep everything else the same. User ID is equal to search user. I just changed the name here for example purposes. But what's really important here is that you need to await the search params and then you can access properties on it. And let's go back to the page here. So if I go back to search results, I'm going to refresh for good measure. Let's do number one again, view posts. And now you can see the query parameter is user instead of user ID. And that's because we changed the name of this input from user ID to user. So now if I switch it back to user ID, and I change this to search params dot user ID, what we're going to see is back to search. I type in two, you're going to see it changes it to user ID. So the name of your input matters here for your search params. So as I was saying, you need to await the search frames here because if I try to do something like this and I just try to await search frames dot user ID, that's going to be an issue. So if I do this, you see, we automatically get an error here. If I click on it, it says error route for slash search used 
search params dot user id search params should be awaited before using its properties so it's reading this as like i'm trying to await search params dot user id but we need to make sure to await search params before just accessing the user id and you can do that with parentheses and then access the user id after you await the search params so once i get the user id from my search params we call this get search results function, just a function to get some data from JSON placeholder. And then we iterate over those results and render them to the page right here. And that's kind of what you're seeing here. We have our form component to where we set the action to forward slash search, which is going to navigate us to our forward slash search page.jsx here. Our query parameter is going to be user ID because the name of this input is user ID. And our query parameter value for user ID is going to match the value of this input. And then we have a button of type submit. So when I click on this button, it's going to trigger this action, navigate us to forward slash search with the query parameter of user ID that's equal to this input. In our search results page, we access the search frames by awaiting search frames first, then accessing the user ID. And we're automatically passed the search params in our component here as props. It is a page component here, so it's automatically going to get those params. So we access the search frames by awaiting it first and then accessing the name of our input, so user ID. And then we take that to get our results here. Now, one other little note is I do for the search page create my own loading component. That's that little spinner that you see. So you can, of course, do that as well by creating a loading component in the route that you are navigating to. In our case, forward slash search, I create a loading component in this search folder. So to see it one more time, I type in one to the input. I'm going to click view posts. It's going to navigate me to forward slash search to where user ID is going to be equal to one. I see my loading component for a split second. And then I see user ID is one. That's my search parameter. And then it's going to show me the results that are for that search parameter. That user ID is equal to one. So pretty cool new feature there. And all of this, as you can see, is server side. There's no use client anywhere in here. All of it's done server side, which is pretty dang cool if you ask me. And it takes out some of the boilerplate needed to do some of this. So Hopefully you learned something here. Hopefully it was clear. And if you have any questions, just let me know down below.